Next story. States across the nation are moving to ease child labor laws, and the federal government is finding a rising number of violations of laws still on the books, some involving grade schoolers who have jobs. Kelsey is here with more on this. Kelsey. Hey there, Adrian. Yeah, this is really upsetting and alarming. The U.S. Department of Labor actually found two 10 year olds working at a McDonald's in Kentucky. Both of them not getting paid, and sometimes they were working until 2 in the morning. Now, what makes this even more upsetting, this is just one of hundreds of child labor violations recently uncovered by the agency. In fiscal year 2022, federal investigators reported a 40% increase in children working in hazardous conditions compared to just five years ago. More than 3,800 kids were employed nationwide in violation of federal child labor laws. That is actually a 140% increase since 2017. Now, why is this happening? What is going on here? Some labor experts actually blame the ongoing worker shortage, and they say it's actually been made worse by the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, according to the Economic Policy Institute, in the past two years, 10 states have introduced or passed laws that have weakened child labor laws. People in favor of this move, they say this is a good thing. It's keeping kids off the street and in the workforce. But critics say reducing child labor laws actually weaken the economy, not grow it. They're learning how to handle various aspects of a job, may, maybe cooking, cleaning, being able to just run a cash register, being able to do calculations. So things of that nature can be very useful for children and teens to learn. Now, there is a flip side of that if they're are taken to the extreme of having to work longer hours than they're supposed to, or to do jobs that they most likely probably shouldn't be doing. And so get this, on Wednesday, some changes in Iowa, passing a bill reducing hazardous work protections for 14 and 15 year olds, also now allowing 16 year olds to serve alcohol. And also in Wisconsin, doing something similar, trying to pass a bill that would allow 14 year olds to serve liquor. Adrian. Okay, that is way too young. But again, we kind of know where people have been doing this. It's kind of historic. It's been happening forever. Let's see if they can monitor it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.